Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your December 2020 monthly love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please do understand that this is a general message. So not all the information or energies are going to come through are going to be resonating for you. The messages can come through as one big storyline, as individual messages. It can come in backwards, crisscross, sideways, up, down any different directions please use your discernment when determining which messages are meant for you and which ones are meant for someone else cross watchers feel free to swap the roles be welcome to be a cross watcher on my channel check out the messages for your divine counterpart your person and check your other planetary placements for additional messages or to get an overview of all messages coming through for you at this time if you're unsure what those are there is a link in my description box to a prenatal calculator that will help you determine that information. All right, my beautiful Libra, please be patient while I go ahead and shuffle up your cards. And while I do so, I'm going to make a couple of quick announcements. I don't do this very often in the beginning of my videos, so please be patient and understanding at this time. All right, guys, I am having for the Christmas holiday a giveaway. You're getting five free love readings and one birthday spread. And what that birthday spread consists of is 12 months, energies and situations, what's coming in, what's going out, main focuses to be focused on, uh, you know, major themes for the year, looking at each month individually. If that is something that you're interested in, um, all you have to do is drop down to that description box. More information is there. It is a photo contest. I'm asking for people to submit pictures of your Christmas trees. Those that do, I will be choosing a uh, five trees that are the most gorgeous, most Christmassy, and unique. You can submit them to my email, or you can go to my community tab and submit them on the post that I have dedicated to that um, particular contest. All right, I'll be making the submission, oh, submission deadline for that would be December 23rd, with the announcement being made on Christmas Eve, Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> for the month of December, I will have all of my love readings discounted down. Um, couples and general readings are $10. Single love readings are off standard for $10. And then for a limited time, I'm offering the No X New Love Only Singles Love Readings for $7, which guarantees that No X Energy will show up in your readings only new love. So if that's something you're interested in, those are $7. And you can, again, drop down to that description box and uh, follow the link to my website where you can gain additional information and book those readings. Okay, guys, and the last but not least, and I do apologize, I am doing a live reading giveaway. Wow, three cards come out. For uh, the month of December, it's two holiday events where we do live readings. It's $20 a ticket, maximum 20 people. Everybody gets a reading. I will also be doing a giveaway there. Looking to give each one person in each event a free one year worth of weekly readings. So again, if that's something you're interested in, even if you want to learn more information about it, you can the description box in my website. Okay, guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Thank you for being troopers and sticking through that message. You guys are getting big messages more than anybody else has gotten to this point. All right, my beautiful Libras, we're going to check your heart space at this time. We're going to see how you're feeling in general towards love. Any message or advice or guidance that comes along with it. So what I'm doing is checking to see if you're open, if you're receptive, if you're closed off, blocked off. I'm feeling a shadow of energy, still healing from past situations. Um, seeing what's going on in your heart space at this time. So let's see what's going on in my beautiful Libras heart spaces. That one wanted to jump. That one wanted to jump. That one wanted to jump. Not taking that one. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we got beauty, charming, graceful, luxurious. Uh, I do get the energy from some of my beautiful Libras that at this time you're you're feeling pretty good about yourself. You've got everything in perspective. Yeah, your heart is singing a song. You guys are definitely open. A lot. My biggest part of my collective, you're open. And receptive to to new love um let's take a look we're gonna go have one that's already flipped over over we got conflict 
multiple choices and consistency decisions. So I feel like this is where some of some of my beautiful uh, Libras are caught between two persons needing to make a decision, not knowing what to decide here. Both options being pretty enticing. So definitely feeling conflict. This could also be about leaving a situation for a new situation also being told. All right. We have masculine energy. So divine masculine energy showing up. So this is somebody either you guys are ready to take action Roaring to go and go after and conquer love, or you have a divine masculine getting ready to enter your atmosphere. Now, when I say divine masculine, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. How to tell the difference is the masculine energy is the action taker, where the feminine energy is more in the flow. They allow things to come to them. They do not take action. They do not pursue. Okay. <clears throat> We're getting mirror. Reflection, share feelings, you. This in my in this deck, this is my twin flame card. So whatever you're feeling, <clears throat> they're feeling too. So if you're feeling happy and joyful and full of love, so are they. If you're feeling angry and bitter and, 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 and unsure, indecision, so are they. This is exactly mirroring you to a T. Beautiful. <clears throat> and we have second chances, making amends, opportunities, and plans. So some of you, when it comes to love, you are, some of you are open and receptive and ready and roaring and ready to go. Others of you, if you're in a partnership, you know, a twin flame bond, soulmate, they're reflecting your energy. So whatever you're feeling, they are feeling exactly the same. <clears throat> and others of you are longing for a second chance to make things right. I'm hearing to make things right. So let's take a look at what messages came out, of he out for you from the goddess oracle deck and uh go from there okay so we have dharma guiding children you're good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now <clears throat> okay so what this tells me either is some of you have children or your person has children and or you're going to be learning children's going to either going to be entering your life very soon you work with children your life revolves around children in some aspect or this is about having children for some of you this could be go back to wounds that need to be healed from childhood um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you but children play a part in each of your lives in, in, in some form or another all right so we have mother mary expect a miracle have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So I feel like this is a confirmation for some of you that have been um, asking for a specific, you know, specific thing in prayer. You know, this is acknowledgement that your prayers have been heard and the universe is answering in kind. And then we have cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. I'm getting a message for you to look at the cycles of the moon and how they align up with your current cycle. Um, how you're feeling, your dreams, and and uh, really pay attention to your dreams at this time. But this is also kind of not just about your your rhythmic cycle, your circadian cycle, your uh, circadian cycle. This is also about your your patterns and your behaviors and how they keep repeating. What can you change? It's it's about honoring yourself in this moment. A lot of self care. It's time for self-care and self-indulgence. Yes, indulgence at this time. Not to a sinful point, but definitely honor yourself. Spend some time um, pampering yourself a little bit. That is the messages from the goddess deck for my beautiful Libras at this time. And last but not least, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some of you, if you don't already have not just met a new person, um, you're going to be meeting a new person and you guys are in the phase of getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so that's actually very nice I love how those messages sync up with each other all right Libra let's take a look at the tarot and see what's going on spirit angel guides and ancestors let's take a look at Libra Sun Moon Rising Venus for December 2020 and love and romantic relationships. What is the best message, advice, and guidance coming through 
for the Libra Collective at this time, taking a look at Libra past, present, future energy, and the shared energy between Libra and the person they have in mind or the person coming towards them, please. And one more. Thank you, Spirit. All right, past position. You're coming through with the lovers, the card of Gemini. The person is coming through as the hermit, the card of Virgo. Shared energy between you is the ten of swords. This is past energy. So something came to an end. There was decision being made and somebody was definitely pulling back. Whatever problem that was you faced, um, whatever it was, it did come to an end here. Both of you were putting in effort into making that decision, however. This person could have both withdrawn and gone within to figure things out. And you were making it from the point of, of love. You know, with love, you were making this decision with love or about love. Some of you have been ending a relationship. So currently you're in the Knight of Pentacles. So this is um, an energy of slow and cautious and planned movement. You're moving forward very slowly. Your person is coming through as the Page of Wands. Could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, but this is about communication. Um, the energy between you is the moon. Um, hidden things, nature's things not appearing what they are. A lot of fear. Um, Pisces, Cancer energy within the moon. And then future energy, we're getting the Knight of Cups for you, the Knight of Wands for your person, and the shared energy is the Eight of Wands. Communication and forward movement. Overall energy here is the Four of Swords. Um, oops. The hidden energy is strength, Leo energy here. So contemplation, healing, and then being brave and courageous and being in control of your emotions, standing out, taking the initiative is what I'm getting with those two cards. All right, beautiful bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, finding your, your peace. Having a supportive team surrounding you, whether this is friends, family, um, it's definitely being supported in all aspects. This is also realizing your self-worth, self-value, and uh, wish fulfillment. It's also the card of charity. It's also about the card of giving back. All right. So, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, let's clarify the cards on the table for my beautiful Libras at this time. Please show me clearly, precisely, and accurately what messages that Libra most needs to hear, starting with the lovers and the distant past and the past position. What is this, lovers? And when I say past, this could be last week, last month, last year, two years ago, 10, 20, 30, 50. It's going to be different for all of you because you're all in different timelines. Please understand that some of this may have already happened, will be happening in the new, fe new future, or happening right now. All right, so we're getting temperance with the lovers, Sagittarian energy, and the high priestess. Wow, a lot of major arcana, arcana. I don't know what's going on. I'm having trouble pronouncing words in your reading. You didn't have this problem all evening. Okay, so a lot of things hidden, a lot of things unknown or unseen or being unspoken here with this high priestess. But there is a wisdom to this high priestess, and I feel like with temperance, you are connected in with your spiritual guides or your spiritual team, your angels, and they are taking the lead to help you make a decision that's in your highest good. This is about bringing yourself into balance. This is about connecting with your deepest desires, hopes, and aspirations, and your and your actual mission, I feel, for being here on earth, your goals. Um, this is about, and I feel from some of you, not all of you, that is exactly what's happening here, is you're getting that wisdom, that, that download. And knowing what you needed to do in order to move forward. Yeah, this was about taking action, passionate action. Could be a Sagittarius that you were connecting with. What is this hermit energy? <clears throat> Thank you. Coming through with the Queen of as the Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Higher font at the bottom of the deck and the seven of cups. Yeah. And the two of pentacles. So this person was detached. There was a, they did have love. They were following their intuition their inner knowledge system, really relying on that. Some of you, this has to do with a marriage or a long-term commitment. 
Um, this also has to do with traditional family values of some kind. So this could also relate to family. There was a lot of options or a lot of emotional overwhelm and confusion. And I feel like this person was very much back and forth about this ending. Or ending a situation of they had being as you say in there. There is regrets behind this. There's a sense of loss and, and sadness. <clears throat> and they could also have been fearful of making the wrong decision. What is this Ten of Swords, a shared energy between my beautiful Libras and their person? Past energy. Yeah. Justice Libra. Absolutely. Okay. So for, uh, for some of you, uh, I do feel like this was uh, a relationship that came to an end. I feel like you had to make a fair and balanced decision when it came to love. There is a bit of sadness and regret or loss in this. I feel like you both felt this very deeply. So you both felt the loss of this connection, this relationship. All right, so let's leave the past where it belongs in the past and take a look at what's happening currently in, in the moment. So you are coming through with the Knight of Pentacles. Please clarify the Knight of Pentacles for my beautiful Libras. Please show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. Okay, so judgment the moon <clears throat> you have a lot of fear there's a lot of things you're not uncertain about that you don't know you are proceeding forward cautiously you want <clears throat> there is a want or a need to speak a truth here which is maybe why i'm getting all tongue-tied um i feel like you are proceeding slowly but there underneath there is a driving force to want to rush things rush forward Almost act impulsively to speak your truth. Um, this is about making peace with the past, releasing it. Some of you, this might be about reconciliation. For others of you, this is just releasing it so that you can move on. Again, I feel like there's a lot of things that are unseen or unknown. In this situation, a lot of fear is playing on your senses. Overall, you're working your way out of the darkness of this and into the light. And it's back into happy and joyful times. Some of you, again, this is about moving forward victoriously. Um, others of you, this is about reconciliation. Your person may be coming in. This could be you wanting to proceed slowly, maybe slowly recovering from this past situation. And then all of a sudden your person, also again, that your person comes in very quickly and wants to reconcile with you. And it may throw you, it may lead you to fear and uncertainty because you're got I got, you know, if this is, you know, happening for you. I feel like a lot of you don't know whether or not you can trust the situation. There is a there's a pause, there's a moment where you can't understand why this is suddenly happening. So I feel like there's a sense of distrust there. What is this page of wands? Not really untrust, uncertainty. Yeah. <clears throat> Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands. Uh Pisces. Pisces energy in there, but uh, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy when the Page of Wands as well. So I feel like this person, again, this person's, you know, very mysterious, very attractive, very charismatic, very driven, very passionate in all their actions. Um, there's a, there is a sense to the Queen of Wands that draws people in. This person is on the verge of a new adventure. They're on the verge of communication. Definitely communication taking place or the desire to. They have clarity. There's a truth that they want to speak. And with the Knight of Swords, I feel like this is them coming in very quickly and kind of knocking your socks off here. Yeah, there's been heartbreak and pain. And this is a burden. I feel like they're coming to realize what you truly meant to them. And they're wanting to lay all this down and, and start again. But I'm not so sure that you are certain about them. What is this moon? I'm also getting this could be somebody new coming into your life. And you're good. This is you like kind of plodding along. And then all of a sudden this person quickly comes in and is like a force to be reckoned with. It's high energy. And you're not certain whether or not you can, can allow them in. There's a lot of fear about being hurt. Yeah. So for some of you, that's exactly it. This could be an apology coming in or a love offer. But this is what, what you're fearful of. There's a sense of, of discontentment, unhappiness. You're not sure whether or not you can trust this offer. 
if it's somebody new, you're not sure whether or not you can trust this offer, but if it's going to be true to its world, if it's real, if this person is actually, you know, at, as it seems, and I think it's that whole message of getting to know each other, and there's the idea this is an apology coming in, and I'm wanting to reconcile, restart things up, and I'm not so certain, again, that you really want to proceed with this. This is you and the hanged man trying to decide whether or not this is a stable and honest offer. Whether or not you can honestly jump in to this relationship or this situation with both feet. And then take that proverbial leap of faith. So this is uncertainty and a little bit of fear about whether or not it's, you know, you're looking at what was what you had in the past. You're looking at your past experiences and trying to determine whether or not this is worth taking a risk on. All right. So funny thing is coming into the future position, you have the Nine of Cups. So this is that offer in love. This is that comes in, sweeps you off your feet, leaves your head twisting and twirling in, in a whirlwind, um, believing, you know, it's too good to be true. Yeah, you're holding back out of fear. You're holding back and resisting this offer to create and cultivate a new beginning. Taurus, Aries energy for me as a reader. And uh, this is about new love. This is an offer in love. This is about moving forward um, by feeling, still feeling wounded. So this is you kind of holding back and blocking off your heart space, fearful to let somebody else in um, because of the damage that they're afraid they're going to do. If this is your past person coming in, you're holding back out of fear that they're going to repeat the pattern. All right. So what is this nine of wands energy for my beautiful Libra's person coming into the situation? <laughs> yeah, the mountain. Yeah, two cards of reconciliation with the Six of Swords in, in between. So this person has got the Nine of Wands, the Moon, the just, uh, Judgment, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So this person wants to reconcile. They want to make peace with the past, let it go. This is an X coming in. They're wanting you to, they're wanting to heal and, and understand and communicate about the past situation, what led to the turbulence, and leave that behind and reconcile. Good times, happy times. They're fearful that you're not going to talk to them or accept them. They're they're very fearful that you're going to continue to block them. They are a little bit lyrious. They're a little bit guarded. I feel like they're over preparing to coming in to talk to you. And there is this is that communication about moving forward, moving on, on with each other. If this is the new person coming in, they are guarded. They are cautious. They too are afraid of getting hurt because of their past. I feel like they're wanting to, to start something new. I feel like they're leaving, you know, turbulence and in, in, in the pain and the suffering that they have gone through in life behind them in order to reconcile. They're looking at long-term stability. They're looking at you, Virgo, and this is your energy right here. This is what they want. They've set their attention. They're waiting calmly for this to come into them. Okay, what is this Eight of Wands, please? Shared energy between Libra and their person. And I just said Virgo, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah. So this is about change. Changing direction, changing things up. Welcoming love in. Being open to the flow with this Empress. This is divine timing, and this is things turning around in your in your favor, this is a new cycle. This is blessings being brought in from the universe with this Ten of Pentacles, that universal abundance, that legacy, that building that life together. So I feel like at the end of this, and it's been, you know, such a, a um, journey for you, whether this is somebody new, a new love starting, um, this has been a journey. Uh, one that you have had suffering in and you've been guarded in. But at the end of the day, I do see forward movement. I see th things turning and changing around with effort. New love being sought and given. Being in the flow, allowing, being receptive, allowing it to come in. Fate being on your side and ushering in the universal blessings of st stability and family. So those are your messages coming through at this time. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If it did not, that is okay. Please check your other planetary placements. 
be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of the Kasserian Soul family. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Please remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Stay safe and healthy. Namaste. Bye for now.